Hi, my name is Ryan Sloan. Thanks for tuning in here. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the iLock and what that is, and then also showing you how to get a, a sample authorization here, um, you know, just to, to basically show you the basic iLock process here from start to finish. So first things first, what, what is an iLock? An iLock is essentially a security dongle. So back in the day with software, um, it was very common to have a, a software license that you would type in or a code that would authorize your software. And this was great, but the problem was it was just so easy to pirate that and generate a key you know, that, that people could get a hold of that would just give them free authorizations, which in the end ends up costing developers money and honestly makes you have to pay a higher price for a given product. So uh, one solution has been with iLock. In fact, I'll show you uh, what an iLock looks like here in case you haven't seen one before. Here you go. You can see the iLock is just a USB key and essentially it's an authorization product. So it stores your software licenses on the key and any computer that you have a certain piece of software installed on, let's, let's take Antares AutoTune for instance. Let's say you have four computers in your studio you can actually install Antares AutoTune on all four of those machines uh, and as long as you have your iLock plugged in you can use them on any machine uh, one at a time. So this can actually be a very good thing for people as well as a, a good thing for developers. So that's what it looks like. Uh, if you need one, pick one up from Sweetwater. You'll have free shipping here. That's uh, only $40. In fact, uh, you can let me know if you'd like to get one of those. I'd be more than happy to help you out. So now, one of the cool things, you know, is, is demoing. Demoing a plugin before you actually purchase it. I think that's, that's important for things like dynamics processing, effects processing, uh, even virtual instruments. And with an iLock, you can do that very easily. Uh, in fact, most companies have a demo section where you can go try out your product. If you're on Pro Tools HD, you're going to want a TDM version of that. And uh, we'll get into the differences between TDM processing and RTAS processing or even audio units processing later. But for now, uh, you're typically, most people out there are going to be on a native system, especially if you're running Pro Tools LE. So um, we'll look at something simple like the inflator from Sonics. The only thing you have to do here is type in your iLock information so they can send that code to you. And uh, in many cases, send them your email address. That way, uh, they can send you certain special information like a download link, you know, fill out your system information, what type of plugin you're looking to get, okay, what magazines do you like, I like Tape Op personally, and then just hit submit basically. So that will um, get an authorization sent to you so that you can download this. Now I've already done that, so I'm just going to bring it over here. Uh, essentially it gives you a download link where you can get the inflator. It's just that easy to install it double click it, open it, type in your administrator password if you're on a Mac or a PC to get that going. And it's the whole process. Now it does want to have your license on there right now. So that's uh, that's something key to note. Now I did send uh, the authorization to my iLock account. That's probably going to be here now more than likely. As you can see, I just sent that to myself and it says, hey, you've got a new license available. So let's say, hey, let's just download it to one of my iLocks that I have here. As you can see, here it is. It's the inflator. We can move it to any of the iLocks that I have in my machine right now. And as you can see from looking at, uh, well, we've got too many licenses in iLock number one. There we go. We're going to move it to iLock number six here. This process can take a while. Again, it all depends on how many licenses you have. But really, it's just that easy. So now this license is officially on this iLock. I can go to my iLocks and licenses. We can move that to iLock 6. So there you go. That time activated demo is now going to be on here. Uh, I don't know if it's at the top or bottom. It's, it's somewhere in there. Needless to say, 
it's just as easy as that. Using iLock.com is an extremely easy process. It doesn't cost you any money. You just get the iLock, you register your account, and you're good to go. Now we can hit continue. And it just that quickly, it's looked on the iLock and says, hey, you have the iLock here. You're good to go. Let's accept the agreement. All the standard gibberish they want with that and install it. And just that easy, we've installed the Oxford plugin demo. So as you can see, using iLock is not a complex thing, but people still do have questions. If you have other questions for me, I'd be happy to help you out. Um, just go to ryansloan.net or send me a message on here, and I will be happy to get in touch with you and answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for other videos.